there's only one thing better than um, fast charging at Alego where there's nice food and that's free charging look there's two people charging white Kias charging at Fastnet but over here at Ionity is uh, Model 3 Paradise and I'll show you why so normally you have the pricing that is well uh, many discussions on the internet about it but here they plan to build a real station but who knows when so what happens instead is I just press start and it asks, asks me to connect which I will and then did you hear the sound? the click it's also speaking Dutch to me the machine here expected beginning of 2020 the fact is some charging cards car, cards that are popular in the Netherlands are still not supported by uh, Ionity and I think they also want to build out the station before they charge for it because yeah Ionity is not supposed to be a two stall uh, factory so here at Nieuwegein in a the Netherlands, close to Utrecht, you can still charge for free at Ionity. Although a lot of people know this by now, so uh, expect it to be busy. I'm not surprised that. Look at this! What? So maybe some people told me that if there's more higher state of charge, then the charging goes faster actually. We cannot even see the state of charge. Hmm. Well, you saw it, I saw it, we all saw it. And it was an ABB machine. Let me show you the details of the machine. They are hidden below here. Take a photo. You will just have to use the pause button yourself. So, this is Staden saying there's a lot of charge here. Here's the Travos. And as you can see, all the prep has been done to build more. But who knows when that will actually happen. These are the Transformers. So, yeah, each of them can do 175 kilowatts and they are connected, so that makes 350 if you visit with the Taycan by Porsche, but then also Porsche still needs to do well, something because they own only unlocked 270 kilowatts so far. Meanwhile, Let's see what's happening at Fastnet. I think their colleagues driving the exact same lease car. Look at these. They have the exact same license plate, one apart. So obviously they were bought at the same moment by the same company. This one is half full. Ooh, this one... Uh, probably needed to charge to get home and uh, the fastnet machines I took a picture for your record but here the where the power comes from is hidden from the audience not easy to touch as the ionity place beautiful night calm on the road which is very special in the Netherlands but we live in special times as you all know let's see what the car is doing oh, we dropped to 115 I'm not surprised 
30%. I don't know how long I'm gonna relax over here, but I'll check back with you before we stop. Ciao, Fastnet. Uh oh, the 80 kilowatt drop is already happening. It seems quite quickly. Let's check the charger. So, 10 minutes gives us 18 kilowatt hours. 50%. And we're already way below 80 kilowatt charging speed. Maybe that is what, what was to be uh, expected. I never researched the SR Plus before. We see many long range models in the Netherlands because that was the uh, most of the year that was the only one that they could deliver quickly in time for the right tax rebate. Still, we're charging at 500 kilometers per hour, of course, which is fine. But I will soon head home. Check you later. So, enough documentary. Let's check the other guy. I'm curious how long he's staying. He's at 75% after 20 minutes. Yep. If you come here with a high state of charge, it is not gonna go quickly. Luckily, I arrived with much less, as you can see, after almost 14 minutes, 23 kilowatt hours soon. Let me use the Tesla button to disconnect. Unlock, please. Thank you. And thank you, Laden Gereed. Thank you, Ionity. It closes by itself. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you, Fastnet. See you later. And in the back, can you see it? These crazy signs high up there, they're from the Haye where I visited the Allego charger before. Time to go home. Ciao.